This is a Pentium 3, 650 MHz, as you can see. Uh, on this computer, there are several operating systems, all of the Windows plus a Debian. So, boot into the Debian system. Yeah, here we are. First, log in as root. And then I want to place things under the home directory. First, uh, get the Linrad source code. I can get it from the Linrad homepage. Uh, like this. So, so it is collecting from the internet and the Linrad package is not very big, so this is a fairly rapid procedure. So now we have the Linrad uh, tarball here. So I will instruct the Linrad uh, source code from it. And this creates the Linrad 3.51 subdirectory, which we go into. And here I can now type configure. It will not work, but we will get some instructions. There is no compiler on this system. Uh, this is a fresh install of Debian WC and many things are missing. So, uh, to make it easy, I first install a mouse, that is GPM. General purpose mouse. So now we should have a mouse, here it is, and uh, uh, the command needed to install uh, the compiler was here, uh, Debian, I mean I know this command but I can get it from there and paste it into here, yes. Uh, now that GCC is in place, let's run configure once more. So there is something more missing, this one. And Good. Configure again. So we need make here. and run configure once again.
So, now I have to decide what to install. There is no screen, and since we are in terminal mode, I'm going to install the SVGA lib package. Uh, to get the instructions on how to do that, I run configure with help, as suggested here. Then I have to step back on the screen here. Uh, Debian is this name. And then the, it's a little bit different on different Linux distributions. And one can also install from source code. The SVGA lib package is very old and it works only on older hardware. Uh, now I could compile Linrod. Uh, as you see, if I run configuring again, but I have not installed any sound system and I can do that now. So I want the instructions for that. And it is this one. I don't need the sudo because I'm already root. Now uh, I can run make. And here you can see all the alternatives. And the one, the only one I can do now is Linrod. Uh, the F Linrod, which would use the frame buffer, does not work on this old computer, but SVGA lib does work here. And I ha don't have X11 on this system. Uh, to avoid the overhead from the X11, which is not negligible. negligible. So, compilation is complete. Uh, there are two test programs with which we can uh, try the SVGA lib package. This one. These are the available screens. I can try, for example, 11. And here we can see it works, but it's not correct. There are some problems. Another one, number 10. It's a very few pixels on screen, but this one is okay. Now this monitor is capable of uh, 1024 times 768. So I tried that. And it works, but not for this monitor. Video mode not supported. We fix that by editing the uh, setup file for SVGA lib. Here, uh, mouse unconfigured, not very good. Uh, I think it is this one. Here, monitor type. These are uh, the default values, but this monitor wants, as you can see up here, uh, 30 to 61, horizontal, and 50 to 75. 
vertical. Uh, save this. Control X. Yes. And now uh, try the VGA test. And again 12. And here we are. Now the screen is configured. And there is one more to check if I did the mouse right. Yes, well it goes very quickly but it works. And I click on it to exit. Uh, so now we can start Lindrad. And as you see, here is Lindrad starting and setup of Lindrad will be in another video.